Writers Association of Nigeria, Hariwa, has claimed that the Ebony State government and the police command in the state lied over the exploded bomb which killed a policeman on Tuesday. It was reported that an explosion occurred opposite Amize Amangabala Primary School in Afuku, not in Ebony State, on Tuesday, which plugged residents into tension while passerbys ran for safety. Some residents who witnessed the explosion said a suicide bomber was trying to gain access into the primary school before the, he accidentally blew himself. However, the state's police command debunked the report saying a police officer mistakenly hit the lid of his grenaded, grenade, sorry, the grenade which was hanging on his waist with his elbow resulting on the deadly explosion. A statement by the special assistant to the Boni State Governor on Media and Publicity, Francis Wednesday, also described the report as the handwork of mischief makers. Reacting, Horiwa, in a statement on Wednesday by his national coordinator, Comrade Emmanuel Onwubiko, said the es es explanation from the police command contradicted the statement from the state government. The group called for an independent investigation into the explosion. The statement reads in part, We do not expect the official explanation given by the Boni state government and the contradictory explanation by the police on the same incident. Where is the Boni state government called it an accidental explosion of grenade in, in his policeman's body that accidentally exploded, but the police called it a tear gas that exploded. So between the Ebony State government and the police command in Ebony State that gave contradictory, contradictory explanation on the same matter, one of them or both are lying. This is because there is a wide uh, there is a white claim between a, a grenade and a tear gas canister. This is because tear gas is technically a gas, Chetter said. It is powder that is heated and mixed with a liquid or solvent and released from the canister as, as it is. A grenade is a military-grade weapon, says multiple security experts We invite the world to say the lies in the two claims. Meanwhile, Nigerians have reacted to this. Let them tell us the name of the police and the station, Chineke. Nah, now, wow. What did this Fulani's promises, Dave Umai, that is making him to trade his people? He would rather defend them than defend his known people. It is a real problem. And when the Nigerian forces started carrying grenades on personal ammo, even in the terrorist kingdom, the North Nigeria, which is a senior war zone, Nigerian forces don't carry bombs, or not to say in the Southeast, baby war zone. Those governments are all experts in their lie technical surgery and transplanting stupid country. The police reported that the suicide bomber in Ebony is a policeman by name Ali Usma, whose grenade blew up accidentally and injured him. But the question are this, if he is not blown up, which hospital is he in? 2. Grenade is a military weapon carried for welfare. When did police police start carrying grenade. Three, what was the grenade for? To fight war in Southeast? Four, why was it a Nottana that was carrying the exploded military war weapon? If you ask me, now who are going to ask? All right, someone said that yeah, Umayi and the slave masters lied. Umayi should be blamed for bringing terrorists into our land. 
Let's pray so that God will lay ambush against all those evil Islamic countries. Iran, Saudi uh, Arabia, Chad, Niger, and Turkey, ETC, and destroy them like Philistines, that their names was in history, but wiped out by God. All right. Someone said, uh, Uriwa, I trust you. It was suicide bomb explosion. You can see with us, the students of Fulanis are is at it again, slating and bending the truth just to please their master at Abuja at a experience as the expense of his people. Sorry about that. Their governor and the police, they are both lying just to prevent the people from knowing the real truth about the matter, not to please the Fulanis. Hmm. Let them keep lying now, but nothing is hidden under the sun. Let those useless ifulifus continue to put. Now one day, then go see. Where you cover evils, evil will continue to exist. That is it. The police and the state government knew they lied, and this is to show they are protecting the Fulani killers. But why, he asked. You are the type of people that always want to cause problem. This Hariwa, I beg, make una go sit down, una not get anything to justify your claim. Almighty God, I thank you for your mercy and your grace over Igbo land. O oh God, Lord Almighty, turn the evil plants of Fulanis to nothing. May your weapons destroy them. The problems of this country is beyond what we can imagine. Oh, government that made the law and also enforce it is like static they say it cannot lie but liars are now comparing statistics god have mercy on us be cool no all right guys you've all heard it now i'm gonna drop it here for now kindly hit the comment section and don't forget to give us thumbs up thank you very much